Wow. Hi, everybody. This is John Wake with Homestrong Real Estate. We've got some data here that uh, is amazing what's happened to the Phoenix real estate market. The most obvious thing to jump out of you is this red line, which is the inventory of homes listed for sale in the local MLS, and it is still tanking. This number is in mid June, is the final number, and it's not slowing down going into June. In June, you might see it stop slowing down, so that's really bullish that the fact that it's still going down into mid June. That can't continue because we're out of the, the high season kind of ends in May, June. So it should uh, level off and start increasing, you would think would be more typical for the second half of the year. Something that happened to the prices, which totally surprised me, is it went down a little bit in May. This last point is for the uh, median home price for single-family detached homes in the entire month of May. And it went down. I wouldn't have guessed that. You, we had huge sales. This blue line is sales. Huge, very, very high sales. Inventory is tanking and prices went down a little bit. So the median home price was like uh, 116.5 in May. But that's not gonna last, you can see that. What happened when we got prices down here last time? Uh, sales took off and uh, prices increased. Another way to look at it is the inventory of homes listed for sale is similar to what it was in 2003. And of course there's been a lot of homes built since then, so on a percentage basis we have fewer homes listed for sale as a percent of homes that are built and available than we did in 2003. Okay, the, the conclusion is that prices are going to take off again. It, when? I don't know when. This whole thing you can see on the graphs, there's a lot of lag times, and the lag times really are hard for me to predict. For example, the prices, I mean, the number of homes sold peaked in the mid-2005, and I would have thought, well, you know, prices will start coming down. They didn't. They increased into 2006 and really they didn't start coming down until two years later. Two years after the peak in sales, prices started falling. Of course, they just tanked for two years until we got here. And what we're seeing here is the inventory. Part of this is going to be the whole boom in foreclosures. That boom is still very high, but it is declining. We're getting fewer homes hitting the market via the foreclosure process than we did earlier. So having that little bit of a, the top taken off of the uh, new inventory is going to tighten things up. So I just can't see that this, uh, this is going to continue at these prices. They'll start going up. I mean, it's easy to see we'd get a bump into this area quickly, like we did then. Of course, these points here were caused by the $8,000 tax credit. It was a big factor in this. And the reason it came down was also the foreclosures and the end of the foreclosures. $8,000 tax credit brought down the prices. We don't have those silliness going on now, so we're going to see a real market-based increase in prices anytime. Could be next well, year from now, I think would be the absolute latest, but I should think by uh, next spring it'll be very tight. And if you're looking at any homes in Metro Phoenix, whether it be the luxury market in Paradise Valley, very tight supply. We have, uh, the prices are great, but your selection is not what it used to be. So that is going to start causing prices to increase, in my opinion. Great. So this is John Wake. Thanks for everything. Give me a call if you have any questions. And if you appreciate these, I'd appreciate a call.